If you have ever dealt with sleep paralysis, you know this stuff's real, guys. Let's go ahead and watch this. Sometimes I see like a whole wonderland of just twisted demonic things, stuff that I couldn't come up with. And I would never believe anybody if they told me that they saw these things. Guys, whenever people go through sleep paralysis, why is it that people always see demonic and satanic imagery? It's never good stuff, it's never positive stuff, and it's never stuff of the light. It's always stuff that's dark, that's satanic, that's demonic. So when people go through sleep paralysis, when they wake up, like at 2 in the morning, they feel like they're putting a stray jacket. They can't move, they can move their eyes, but they can't move their body. They feel chills all over their body, they feel their facial muscles tense up, they feel like an evil presence in the room. If you talk to people with sleep paralysis, they tend to have a progression in their experience. So first they wake up and they can't move and they sense that presence in the room like they're being watched. And then their brain organizes it. And now they're not just sensing something, they're actually seeing something. Is it demonic right there in the room with them? That's why they feel so tense. But when I started to feel poking and scratches and see this entity or whatever it is standing next to me, grabbing my arm, lifting my arm, and not being able to move, but seeing my arm move and feeling the scratches, that's when I started to really worry. So when we're in REM sleep, our brainstem paralyzes our body, presumably so we don't act out our dreams. During sleep paralysis, you get the aspects of the paralysis and the dreaming going on when you're awake and fully conscious. So it's like a simultaneous thing. When you're awake, you feel like you're in a straitjacket, you can't move at all, and you see all these dancing devils around you, you see all these black shadows that are just there looking at you. And this is a reality, guys. Sometimes we think we're seeing stuff. No, we're actually seeing stuff, guys. That's actually our eyes being open to see the spiritual realm. And in the spiritual realm, there are demons and there are angels. But when you get sleep paralysis, it's a demonic entity that's messing with you at the moment. It's the diabolical atmosphere that's around you at the moment. That's why you get nightmares. That's why you see the demons in the dreams. And when you wake up, you see something looking at you. Or you, or you feel, whenever you feel like there's something looking at you, there's a big chance that there might be something looking at you. Pray for your house. Clean your house out. Take out everything that you think is a cursed items. Delete any any movies that are open doors to the demonic horror movies, video games, any objects of witchcraft or sorcery, dream catchers or new age stuff, astrology. All that has to do with your sign and all that stuff. That's satanic and that's demonic. And that's actually a huge open door to the demonic. Because the way that those things came about were through the following ones. I mean, is it really a phenomenon when we know what it really is? Just to show you that those are symptoms of a demonic entity. Mark chapter 9 verse 17. A man in the crowd answered, Teacher, I brought you my son. This man is talking to Jesus. I brought you my son who is possessed by a spirit that has robbed him of speech. Whenever it seizes him and throws him to the ground, he foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and what? Look, 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 look. And becomes rigid. What does rigid mean when you're tense? When you become real tense? When you become like you're put into a straitjacket? What does sleep paralysis do? Sleep paralysis puts you in a straitjacket or in a feeling of that you're in a straitjacket and there's demonic entities walking around you. That's usually what people see whenever they're put into sleep paralysis and sometimes they feel scratches. Like that guy said, they feel something messing with them. They think it's on their mind, but I really strongly believe that it's actually manifesting in the physical realm. And this is a sign of the demonic spirit that's either demonizing the person or just tormenting them or they might have an open door to the demonic in their house or in their life but look this is the solution i asked your disciples to drive out the spirit but they could not verse 19 you unbelieving generation jesus replied how long shall i stay with you how long shall i put up with you bring the boy to me so they brought him when the spirit saw jesus it immediately threw the boy into a convulsion he fell to the ground and rolled over foaming at the mouth jesus asked the boy's father how long has he been like this from childhood he answered it has often thrown him into the fire or water to kill him. But if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. So the demonic entities are there to get you. They're there to delete you. That's how dangerous the demonic entities are. Verse 23. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. When Jesus saw that the crowd was running to the scene, he rebuked the impure spirit. You deaf and mute spirit, he said. I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. The spirit shrieked, 
convulsed him violently and came out. The boy looked so much like a corpse that many said he's dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him to his feet. And he stood up. After Jesus had gone indoors, his disciples asked him privately, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, This kind can come out only by prayer. Another version says by prayer and fasting. All right, so with sleep paralysis, you feel tense. You see demonic entities around you. You might even dream with demonic entities. Also, another thing, the why is it that when people sleep, this comes from many experiences that I have heard people tell me about. Why is it that when people have sleep paralysis, they can never say in the name of Jesus? Or if they do, they struggle really hard to pronounce the name of Jesus. Hmm? Think about that. If it were just something that were scientific and like an abnormality in the brain, you can say anything you want. Every time you try to rebuke a demon in sleep paralysis, you will struggle. Or at least that's what I've heard. So this stuff's real, guys. I don't know why we undermine the spiritual warfare, but it's real. And a lot of people go through it, guys. But no matter how intense it is, no matter who goes through it or how many times you go through it, the solution is Jesus. And even Christians can go through this intense spiritual warfare. You might be going through this type of warfare. The devil never sleeps, but neither does Jesus. So there it is, guys. That's my take on sleep paralysis and what I think it is. Go ahead and comment your thoughts. I want to hear what you think. What do you think about sleep paralysis? Do you think it's demonic? Or do you think that it's just an abnormality in the brain? Comment your thoughts down below. Like, share the video with someone who you think needs to hear this. All right, guys. Laters.